add checkboxes in Excel, you need to Developer tab. If you cannot see the Developer tab, right-click the ribbon and select Customize the ribbon. Here on the right-hand side, you can see all the tabs. If you scroll down, you've got the Developer tab. Select it and click OK. To insert checkbox, select Developer tab. Go to Control section, select Insert, and at the top you can see Form Controls. Here we have got the checkbox, just select it, and you can draw the checkbox. Next to the checkbox, as you can see, we've got some text. I will delete it. Just right click and select edit text and press delete button. And as you can see, we can check and uncheck our checkbox. If you want to edit the checkbox, right click. And you can change the position of the checkbox. You can easily copy the checkbox as well. If you want something to happen when you click the checkbox, you need one more setting. Right click on the checkbox, select Format Control, and here you've got Cell Link. Select the icon on the right hand side and select Cell you want link. Press Enter. Click OK and see what will happen now. If you select checkbox, you've got true in C1 cell. If you uncheck the checkbox, you've got false. Let's do the same for the other checkboxes. Now, if you check any checkbox, you can see we've got the result next to the checkbox in C column. To hide these values, select all of them, right click, select Format Cells, select Custom, and type semicolon three times. And this will hide them. Now we can use conditional formatting. Highlight all items, go to Home, Conditional Formatting, and select New Rule. We need to use a formula, so select Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now we need to select the cell which has got this true-false value. So in our case, it is going to be C1. Just type C1. Click Format. Select straight through and click OK. So now we can see this in action. So now we have got this strike through effect. 